You know, they were like, oh no, they're killing kangaroos to, you know, to eat, that's bad, you know. But, um, once the word gets out that we need to be killing them because of how many there are, uh, I think people might start eating it more and seeing it more as a, as a real meat supply than just, you know, the symbol of Australia. If people want to eat meat, that is their prerogative. Personally, I don't, and I'll tell everyone now, if they're interested, I'm a vegan. I eat no meat and no dairy products, no animal products. But if they choose to eat meat, that is their prerogative. But kangaroo meat is different. It's different than other meats. It isn't healthy, clean, and green because you heard about the way they're killed amongst the flies and the dirt and the feces of other animals and the dust and the uh, uh, bacteria and viruses that could uh, get into them. The fact that people say it's diseased and it's got worms, all grass-eating animals have intestinal worms. Um, I certainly don't present uh, the intestines of the kangaroo to be eaten. They're discarded the same as uh, the intestines of the, uh, of the domestic stock that are, that are slaughtered in abattoirs. If something new comes up, there's always going to be some sort of opposition group. I mean, if they were endangered, they wouldn't be um, killed anyway, so they're obviously not endangered. The endangered species in Australia are protected quite highly, and obviously if it's freely killed and eaten, <laughs> then I suppose, you know, <laughs> you can eat it. <laughs> well, there was a time when the US Fish and Wildlife Service were concerned about whether or not kangaroo harvesting was leading to or threatening kangaroos with extinction. And uh, for a while, for some years, there was a ban on importing kangaroo products into the US. The US Fish and Wildlife uh, sent people out to Australia on several occasions and there was uh, a lot of effort putting into uh, establishing exactly whether or not uh, kangaroo populations were secure, were at risk. and. Uh, it was, that was at around about the same time that all the aerial survey methodology was uh, getting up and running. But you, don't, you simply don't hear that argument anymore. I mean, the, the data have been coming in for so long and they're, they're so good and so believable that nobody is any longer claiming that harvesting kangaroos is forcing them to extinction. So the, the bias or the, the focus of people opposed to kangaroo harvesting has now swung against animal welfare and animal rights issues. They all support each other, this group of scientists that support the commercial killing of kangaroos. I'm not saying anything against them personally, and I don't want to attack any individual. That's not what we're about. But we do know that this is what's happening, and that's the reason this has been allowed to go on for so long. They get their government grants. Gordon Grigg gets paid handsomely to do aerial surveys for these counts, upon which the populations of kangaroos are based. My involvement in this is absolutely for conservation. I've got no financial interest in any of this whatsoever. Uh, I've, I got very involved advocating better use and sustainable use of kangaroos, selling them for higher prices than the market present because I think it's a product that hasn't yet reached its value uh, on the world game meat market. And the reason I got involved was because I, when I first started doing aerial surveys 30 years ago, I was just appalled by the fact that you couldn't find an area of the, the country where you couldn't see the impact of hard-footed sheep. And so that's what really galvanised me to try and promote a better way to use the rangelands. And so I'm not suggesting that harvesting kangaroos is the only thing that needs to be done. But certainly, rather than having control programs for kangaroos and seeing them as a pest, I'd much rather see them recognised for what they are, a spectacular, beautiful, wonderful native mammal, which produces very good leather, 
and excellent meat with very low fat content.